Hi everyone, it's Eva Pierce with Coldwell Banker and I have Donna Romero with Supreme Lending and I invited her today to give us a little update on a big change that happened in our market mm -hmm. and this is financing a condo in resort areas in 2021. So Donna, <laughs> give us some good news <laughs> okay. please because we all want to have beach view beach round condo and it seems yeah. like it's getting harder to get that well you can expect that it is going to get harder okay. um in november lenders were told that fannie mae and freddie mac uh, were re-examining their guidelines when it came to financing for resort condos uh, for those not familiar with fannie or freddie mac what that is is as a lender when we originate your loan we do it with the expectation that we will sell it to the secondary market which is fannie and freddie mac um, like I said, they made changes. Uh, basically, they came out and said that any application that was taken after December 7th would have to go with new guidelines. And what that means is in the past, uh, when we're going to be doing a, uh, a loan for a condo, we would have had to have had that condo approved by Fannie and Freddie Mac in advance. They had certain guidelines that would tell you what kind of financing you could do, how much you could put down. Um, and they used for, to be able to buy with even, I mean, as, as low, low as 5% 5 down 10, if it was a 10%. primary, uh, if it's a, um, a second home, it was 10%. So 10%. they had very, and then your rates were very compar comparable to what you would get for a primary, primary. single family home. Oh, right. yes. um, but that has all changed. And unfortunately, we're still waiting to hear more from Fannie and Freddie. We don't have a lot of information at this point. Um, what we are expecting is we do know that we have to go through the whole process of approving a condo again. The same condo, the like same if you one have a list of approved uh, mm -hmm. condo buildings that you can finance before, your lender will have to go over it again and find out if you will be able to purchase in the same condo, even if you bought a right. couple, months, right. couple months before. Yeah, so I have one that I could have financed in November or I one I just financed on the application was December 7th and I was able December to 7th. go with the old guidelines. Well, I might not anymore. So yeah. just be aware that a lot of changes have happened. A lot of lenders are still trying to weed through what Fannie and Freddie What's want okay. and what they will accept. Um, do be prepared to have to put more money down. You're more likely um, going to have to put 20 to 30% down and your interest rates are going to be higher. Even um, if they put mm -hmm. like the highest amount possible? Like this. You know, the more you put down, the better your rates are going to be. Okay. You know, if you're putting, you know, 30 or 40 percent down you're going to have a much better rate than if you put 20. it's really all about risk and that's where all of this is kind of leading with fanny yes. and freddie right. is where is the market going to go they don't want to put themselves out there at more risk so do expect that it's going to take a little longer you know when you're looking at condos mm -hmm. and that you're really going to need to be working with your yeah. uh, lender to know where they can lend and how much you're going to put down and what kind of rates you're going to be looking okay. at um, mm -hmm. also be patient with them because everybody <laughs> is scrambling to figure out what's going to happen and what they're going to do. Right. Um, but you do have certain lenders uh, that might be able to do what's called portfolio financing. I know at Supreme, we're looking at different things that we want to roll out that can maybe take the place of Fannie and Freddie type okay. loans if we can. And probably um, some of the mm -hmm. uh, clients out there, the buyers are familiar with the portfolio. Yes. This is where the loan is originated and uh, it's kept with the bank. Yeah, the lender keeps, keeps the it. They're not going to try to sell it to Fannie or Freddie Mac. Mm -hmm. So that's where the big changes are. Um, again, we're still waiting to find out, uh, but we're still sending we're still trying to get condos approved to be financed with fannie and freddie but it's just a longer process than we had okay. before so so bottom line on mm -hmm. condo financing in 2021 be patient it's getting a little harder. <laughs> yep. save your money it's going to yep. be a higher down payment mm -hmm. what it looks like i mean people are buying condos you know left, condos, left yeah. and right it's just mm -hmm. the fact in the matter is that you have to be prepared with the changes and if there is uh, more information requested uh, by your lender, there is a reason for it. Right. But uh, just in case, uh, save 
at least 20%, if yes. not more. Yep. And um, let's hope that they're going to get those uh, portfolios so we don't have to wait <laughs> too long. All yep. right. Yep. Yep. But Great. we'll keep you posted. Awesome. Okay. Thank you very much, Thank Donna. You. I really hope that that helps and uh, clears some questions for um, mm -hmm. some of you condo buyers. Mm -hmm. If you have any more questions, you know where to find us. Mm -hmm. Eva Pierce, Coldwell Banker, and Donna Romero, Supreme Lending. We are here to help with uh, anything we can. Have a wonderful day. Thank Talk you. to you soon. Bye.